The demonstrations with our animals here at Australia Zoo are so important. You can see just how well they swim as well. They're excellent swimmers. We want to make sure that every single visitor that walks through our gates get an education and learn more about the world around them. Can you notice he has two thumbs? So that they'll hopefully protect our beautiful animals for the generations to come. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our ring closure. In its enclosure, we have our two utterly adorable, excuse the pun, Asian small court otters. The otter demonstration is one of my absolute favourites. These little cuties behind me are Daisy and Percival, our two Asian small clawed otters. And aren't they cute? <laughs> These little guys make the most adorable chirping sound. And on most days, you'll see Daisy and Percival playing together, trying to steal each other's food. <laughs> Look at them. Hi, guys. Hi. These guys are carnivorous mammals and they're known for eating crustaceans, small fish, and they have the sweetest hands. They're almost like little people hands. They'll use their little hands and mouths to open up the muscles and then chew into the juicy center. Daisy's three years old and Percival is four years old. And they're always curious. They like to get into everything We got a call saying that a hat had been dropped in the enclosure and the otters were having a bit of fun with it. So I had to pick it up. They'd almost tried to take it into their nest there, I think, in the log. Anyone's hat? By the looks of it, they'd had a bit of fun, but the people did still want it back. There you go. Good as new. Not sure if they're going to wear it, though. <laughs> These little guys are classified as vulnerable in the wild. They suffer a lot from habitat destruction and also overfishing. Are they all Steve Irwin's pets? Um, I don't really call them pets, but they're definitely all animals that Steve loved. Steve actually really loved the otters because they were so cheeky. So if anything, I think I heard he was a little bit scared of them. More than crocs. <laughs> Good boy. Alrighty, guys, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Australia Zoo. Allow me to introduce to you our beautiful pair of Asian small court otters. Otter demonstrations are extremely important, and they also serve a great purpose of keeping these little cheeky guys having fun days. Daisy and Percy are still reasonably new to Australia Zoo, and we are still building our relationships with them. So, what Kelsey's doing at the moment is a technique called station training. Each otter has their own stations, which they need to reach and stay at in order to receive a piece of food. The one thing about otters is that they are really intelligent. So we're constantly working to make sure their minds are active. What might seem like some fun otter conditioning is actually simulating exactly what the otters would be doing in the wild problem solving, helping to make sure they're constantly thinking about what's to come. All right, come on, place. The otters are super excited to see me, mainly because they know I have a pouch full of their food by my side. So I brought their absolute favourites, uh, little bits of chicken neck and also their favourite fish. They have an extremely high metabolism, uh, to the point where they actually need to consume a third of their body weight every single day. Here's the station. You can teach them different areas um, based off the word you're using. It's called station training. Daisy. Daisy goes to the large log in the enclosure. Percy, station. And our boy Percy goes to the top of the waterfall. Percy. Oh, you got that one. So what we're going to do today is still station training, but we're going to be teaching them to identify a rock that we're going to call place. So just much smaller areas for them that we can call them to uh, as sort of a central location that they understand place. They're very easily distracted. Um, Daisy a little bit less because she is so good with training and very focused on the food, but Percy's very easily distracted. Station. Percy, station. 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 
good boy. So many things I love about them. I love that they have such unique personalities. Every single auto is different. Station. So you really have to get to know them and get to see how they're thinking. They're a lot of fun to train because they are so smart and so food motivated, but they're really cheeky. Daisy, place. Percy, place. <laughs> Daisy, look. Otters have moved straight onto their rocks when we took our place. Daisy free. So it shows that training is really working well. That was really good. Yeah, no, he was really good too. Right now, you can see behind me, there's a lot of people lining up for our otter demonstration. This is where all of the keepers' hard work and training pays off. So this is the first day that we're bringing our new training into our morning otter show. So it's the first time that the public's going to see it uh, and pretty much there's going to be a lot of distractions and things that they haven't seen before while we're doing this training. So it is a bit of a test for them. Yay, I'm so excited. Welcome back, you two. The girls have actually been doing the hard work. They've been training for active little otters. Otter demonstrations are so important. We want to educate everyone who comes to Australia Zoo about how special otters truly are and the fact that we need to protect them in the wild. We also want to make sure that the otters are always happy and healthy. So we can use this training in all aspects of our day-to-day -day workings with them. We can get them to stand and hold that position and then reward them with a bit of food. When the girls are in there training them, we've always got something tasty in the pouches. The otters are so clever, and I really think they have responded to the training really well. Thank you. Good boy. And they get so happy when they get their food. <laughs> they get their little face when they start eating. It's the funniest thing. Free. Good boy. Thank you for coming this morning, and we'll see you all next time at Australia Zoo. Thank you, everyone. to plan. The otters were fantastic. They were attentive, they were excited, they loved the attention. This is the most brilliant day for our gorgeous otters. I'm so proud of them. Woohoo! You go, guys!